Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Prison Architect Season 2. Last time we finally figured out how to get some people into this minimum security area and we identified a really stupid problem that had to do with the cell quality. If we take a look at our room quality overlay here, it says uh, prisoners entitled to grade 4 and these are only grade 7. Well, I think it's stupid and a lot of you do too. So uh, thankfully one of you uh, left a very helpful comment about uh, this little setting and policy we can turn off that is cell quality rating. So that is now completely disabled. And we also have the option to give uh, staff keys to everything. Not going to check that off quite yet, but we might end up using that later. Anyway, all that to say, now this whole area can be uh, explicitly restricted to minimum security only, and it will just be filled with minimum security regardless of what cell they quote unquote deserve. So it's good to have that taken care of. Uh, thanks, as always, for the helpful comments. I do always read all of them. I'm not joking. I always read every single comment. I can't always respond. And in many cases, I just can't. But I do always read them, and I make sure that there's uh, at least some sort of something you guys are able to contribute to this. And oftentimes, it's great. So that is fantastic. Thanks again very much for that. We've got lots of other stuff to do today. I want to get a maximum security area built. Probably going to be maybe this corner. And what I was thinking for that is maybe we could do a, uh, like a prison within a prison compound thing with like an extra set of walls and uh, extra security and stuff like that. So we'll get there at some point. But before we do that, uh, another comment I got was that this little space right here would be a great place for another solitary cell. Because right now we just have, this is a very, very, very small text, padded solitary cell. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put another one down here because we can There we go. The only requirement is that it has a door. So guess what? We're going to pop in with a secure door. Right like so. And they'll be good to go. Assuming the uh, flap is on the right side. I don't know if it really matters. But that is the way it goes. So we have 10 uh, criminally insane guys here. And then when that door goes in, we'll have uh, two of the solitary cells. Got our psychiatrist offices, etc. So on and so forth. So that's all looking pretty good. We've got lots of other stuff to get to. Uh, like I mentioned, the maximum security wing. Uh, and a couple of problems you guys identified that we're definitely going to want to take care of as soon as possible. Like the forestry right here. Um, it turns out that prisoners can get access to the, uh, the saws and stuff. And we don't want that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to de-room. Well, it already is de-room, but I'm going to put a fence here just so we can have everything properly uh, locked away here. And then uh, this will become a, that's under deployment, staff only in the, uh, in the forestry once the fence is put back in place. And we also need to make these staff only. We just never, never did that for some reason. But uh, obviously the armory needs to be staff only. Duh. <laughs> but um but yeah hopefully that's going to help us a little bit we've got some uh got some other stuff to take care of we also have our grants to work with we have our carpentry apprenticeship program I'm making 10 superior beds which currently we'll take a look at our programs here uh i mean we've got we got a couple of guys i guess that are doing it it's just it's going to take a long time and we've got plenty of other stuff to do if we go up to grants uh, max sec infrastructure implementation. This is what we're going to be doing mostly in this episode. We don't need the money, but I am going to go ahead and accept this grant. And we've already gotten most of this, except uh, we just have to have CCTVs and increased security force. It doesn't say anything about actually zoning a cell for maximum security, so we probably could actually finish this without having the uh, maximum security built. But what's the fun in that, right? So we have all this right here, this canteen, this kitchen, etc., so on and so forth. Uh, so what we're going to do is for maximum security, not super max, mind you, but maximum security, we're going to give them their own canteen and their own little thing. It'll be a, kind of a limited capacity uh, deal here. Right now we have two maximum security prisoners. Uh, and if we have a dedicated wing just for them, then we can have all sorts of other uh, guys come in as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is make this big old building here entirely for maximum security. And if this is just going to be the whole max sec thing right here, 
I think that's what we're going to want to do is just bring this all the way over. Uh, this is staff only in here. It's patrolled by dogs. They can't get uh, stuff if these guys never go outside. So we'll just do that. This will just be all maximum security. And then what we'll do is we'll gate this behind a, I guess you could call it like an airlock kind of thing. Where you have walls inside once this is actually built. Uh, but you'll have like a, uh, the whole entrance can have to go through security. You'll have another security room, a uh, whole bunch of metal detectors, so on and so forth. But the idea is that the maximum security guys never leave this building. And uh, I guess we'll figure out what else we can do with that. I think we could, could possibly in the middle of this complex put a small yard in place, even though the game does not require you anymore to have one of those got a comment saying, hey, why don't you have a yard? Uh, the game doesn't care, so I'm not going to waste my time on it. It is pretty much the uh, easiest possible answer to that. So, uh, but if if we can make it work with what we're, uh, what we're looking at here, then that might be a worthwhile thing for us to do. So we'll go ahead and speed through the night, let these workers get to work while working, and turn this into a whole maximum security thing. Now, since this maximum security... We don't need to worry about making the cells super nice. Uh, these are guys who are going to, well, we're going to want to incentivize them to be downgraded with good behavior, which is allowed thanks to uh, one of the DLCs or whatever. I can't remember exactly which one it is. But uh, we do have, uh, oh, it's transfers. That's what it is. So we can allow transfer from medium security to minimum security. Is there not one for uh, max to a... Uh, Ah, okay. I just had to. Oh, okay. We're not going to do super max. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, that's allowed. That's allowed. It's just two separate things. Yeah, so that is what it is. It's going to take them a while to build that. So let's see. What else were we wanting to look at? I already fixed our problem with the forestry uh, not being isolated. So let's go ahead and make this a staff only right here. Get these guys doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, that and our our kitchen here and all of our uh, our feedings of the other prisoners. Not really going to be able to accommodate too much more without completely redoing this whole building. And we want to make sure that we're in a good spot to do that. It just takes time to get it done. It is going to be interesting when... Um, when they don't take this fence down. I guess I should have thought about that. But we also didn't want to get rid of the fence in the first place. Got our kennel up here. Got the doggies running around. We still have space up here to put some other things. More administrative stuff. If we wanted to put more offices. Or so on and so forth. Now this is... All of this stuff in here I'm pretty sure is from when we had our minimum security cells. Um, we were trying to disassemble things so we could get guys in there. So we can actually uh, come back in. Yeah, you see all these classy windows? We can actually come back in and install those. Because, well, they uh, decided that they weren't allowed to have windows. And I said, well, that's too bad. Actually, you know what? We have technology. Uh, I want to... I'm going to just pause this. I want to actually have the windows, the double windows over the desk. Because I think that looks nicer. Like we've done up here, 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 here. Yeah, just like so. We're going to increase the quality of the cells, and these guys are going to be nice and happy. That's always good. Yep. And then now that that's taken care of, I can unpause and pop the rest of this in. And the medium security guys, maybe... Maybe we can put some other stuff in those cells too, now that we know this is a thing. But uh, yeah, they can uh, they can go ahead and take care of that. This is just about done. I think we are going to have to manually put in the uh, <laughs> manually put in the walls on the outside here. We'll see what happens once this is actually finished. Yeah, it sure looks sure looks like it. Yep, there is a severe lack of wall here. So that is going to have to be fixed. I don't know why they didn't fix it when they put the foundations in, but yeah, it's, it's fine. So now we have the opportunity. Actually, uh, we can do maximum security walls. That's probably 
probably what we should be doing. Just to kind of differentiate how stuff is set up here. I guess I could have just made the box. But we'll do we'll do max sec walls. And then uh, this whole outside right here will have a, uh, a nice big uh, walkway around here. Just an entire perimeter that'll be filled with guards, like a like a moat almost. And then we can have an, uh, another security office, so on and so forth. It doesn't have to have a whole lot in terms of uh, capacity in the cells. And cells don't have to be big either. Remember, we have the option to go and research small cells, which basically requires it to only be big enough to have a bed and a toilet. So that would be three by one. Very, very, very small. So we definitely don't, uh, well, for normal normal prisoners, probably wouldn't want that. But for the uh, max sec, maybe, maybe we can get away with it. I don't know. Maybe not. So I actually might have, uh, might have jumped the gun a bit on these, uh, these walls here. Let's take a look at our security. I need to alphabetize this again. Yeah, so the security room has to be 4x4. Four four. So maybe what I want to do actually... Yeah, maybe what I want to do actually is not not build these walls. Oops, we wasted money. Oh no. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do some... Uh, I want to have security rooms right, right here in the middle. Are they... You stupid idiots. Stop, stop building the walls. Stop building the walls. Oh, okay. Clearly, I do not know what I'm doing. But it's, uh, it's fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this, okay, good. They are going to put that wall back in place. Yeah, we just need to have, uh, this entrance area taken care of. They're still going to go through the same reception or whatever out here, and then they'll just get hustled along. Oh, did we find a tunnel? All right, hold on. Uh, not guard response. Uh, tunnel search. So now they have to identify that. They yellow flagged it. I guess the dog found it. But now, now we'll just search everything. So while they're doing that. Yeah, security, security. Got this little 3x3 three three space right here. If I just have a couple of security offices, maybe that's not what we want. Um, I gotta keep in mind we're gonna have. Uh, there we go. I could put one here, one here. So you have to go. No, because the guys don't have to go through. What am I? What am I doing here? We'll just have the one security office on this side. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. And so this will be a wall here. And this will be a wall here, and then this will just be its own own thing. Probably will have to be a little bit bigger. Uh, max sec walls once again. All right, like so. That'll just be the, uh, the entrance way right there. So actually, if that's the case, then this right here should be sufficient. Uh, jail door for security purposes. Or maybe it should be a... Staff door. No, no, it's fine because it's all going to be guards there. But the uh, the idea that I had was to uh, just kind of keep so that none of the prisoners are facing the outside walls. Why is this a different color here? That's it's very strange. Is that just a pile of bricks? I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming that's just a pile of bricks. Anyway. So this can just be kind of like a hallway here. There we go, because this is facing the outside of the prison, and this is facing something else. Uh, we can have this be kind of staff areas, and then up in here as well. I just need to be able to have a, a common area for these guys, a canteen, and then some cells. So they're not necessarily entitled. What are you doing in here? Hello? Um, first of all, how? How did, you, how did you get in here, Mr. Criminally Insane? You need to be, you need to be taken back. Assign a guard, yes. Get in here. Come come get your boy. <laughs> we 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 got we got this guy up in here that's not supposed to be. Not supposed to be in here. I actually don't know what cell he's oh we got two guys in uh two guys in padded solitary, okay. 
Alright, anybody, anybody gonna come get their guy? Did they come get him? Oh, he's out here. So why are you not, uh... Why are you not taking your guy back here? Or is that the orderly? Why are these insane guys? Oh, it's, it's free time. Okay, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to go in there. Get, get away from here. These orderlies are not very orderly-ing. But is that a cat? It absolutely is. That's hilarious. <laughs> I forgot I had all that stuff turned on. Alright, so hopefully nothing bad happens. We'll just kind of uh, ignore that. And then, yeah, we, we gotta, gotta get these walls built. Uh, gotta have other, other spaces here. I don't know that we want to have uh, too much else available to the max set guys. But uh, at the same time, they're probably going to have to uh, be able to get out to some of these, some of these places. I don't think I can have a... Uh... Yeah, I don't think I can have multiple, uh, multiple uh, sectors allowed to the same space if I'm going to assign it at all. Huh. Custom sector. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Now we're cooking. Alright, so now I guess I have to do, um... Oh, what was it under foundations? Tunnel removal? Yeah. We'll just, uh... We'll just go ahead and hit this entire thing just in case. Yeah, but security here definitely needs to have CCTV stuff and all sorts of that. Door control system, that's going to be an easy one right there. CCTV monitor, I know this is limited to how many they can actually operate at one time. So I'll leave that alone for now. Electrical, probably, probably should have a phone tap. But let's go ahead just for right now and put in a desk and a chair. So these guys have somewhere to sit. And then a filing cabinet. Let them do that so we can have an actual security office. And yes, we will have to have lights. We all know about the lights. We'll just have a strip of lights in the middle. How about that? Because it's not going not gonna to end up uh, being a very nice thing here. All right, uh, let's speed through the rest of the night here because this is honestly kind of irritating with it being dark in here. We don't have a... Wait, why are you... Okay, I did outline those walls. Never mind. I was about to say, why are, you, why are you building walls? I told you to. It's okay. All right, so that's a secure door. Uh, red was for maximum security, I think we decided we're going to do. And the question we're going to have to answer is, uh, do we want slash need to have all of this stuff hooked up to the same power station? I think it can handle it if we put these other uh, capacitors in. So I think, I think we're going to be fine if we just uh, get that situated. All right, so we got security. And then I need to have a, uh, a dedicated canteen for these guys. Probably, probably going to be fine. It doesn't have to be huge because this is not going to be a very populous, uh, populous area. So let's try, uh, see if I did 15 by 8 and I go in here with my objects. Got serving table would come in. Uh, maybe let's just say here. So three serving tables. As far as regular tables go, this would be plenty of extra space. If I did this, then I could have benches here, 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 and here. And then we just do the same thing on this side. And then we have space in the middle. We can put in uh, some smaller ones. But it's not going to have to be a really big, not going to have to be a really big thing. We'll just leave a little bit of space here. Give them some small benches so they can get through etc so on and so forth so it's probably going to have to happen here i don't want to have a separate kitchen but i definitely don't want them eating with the other guys i am pretty sure want to avoid that at all costs 
Well, maybe not at all costs, but you get with the deals. So jail doors. That'll be fine there. Give them their own thing. We'll also need to have access from here. Staff door. I mean, maybe, because I don't, I don't want the prisoners to go through the kitchen to get anywhere. I just want these guys to be able to get to other, uh, other spots. So maybe, maybe this needs to be another jail door uh, to access the canteen. We'll just put another one down here too, just, just in case. Okay, so why? Oh, they went here for their food, but there's no. All right, all right. Okay, we gotta, gotta, gotta fix this. I don't think that's the ideal solution until we actually have food going in there. But, uh, alright, custom sector is going to be medium and minimum. Uh, and I guess criminally insane for right now can go in here too. So that's custom security sector. That's fine. Uh, the rest of this, honestly? Honestly, we might have to let the maximum security guys into some of this. But the mealtime, I know, is a problem. I know that's a problem. These guys are going to be mad because they didn't get any food. Well, that was an oversight on my part. I know you'll you'll be absolutely shocked that I have committed yet another cardinal sin. That's fine. I'll put this just kind of like so. And then I know it's not perfectly spaced, but having the lights above the tables probably is nice. Just put a bunch of nice lights in there. There is some food. No prisoners assigned to eat at the canteen. Uh, we have maximum security, guys. And that's who I said they had to go in there. So it shouldn't really matter. Well, anyway. Uh, we can slow this down. I wanted to see... I wanted to see, okay, so here is a maximum security guy going to the gym. All right, I guess that's allowed. We haven't made any beds. Uh, we have 80% passing on the foundation education. That's good. That's good. It's just going to be one of those annoying things. That's fine. Um, let's see, electrical cable. We'll just run this uh, around the uh, perimeter here everything nice and connected. I know they can't reach in here because it's currently uh, completely uh, inaccessible, but uh, now we have to have a common area. Probably probably don't want to completely block this off. This might actually want to end up being kind of a, a passageway through the middle. So we're going to have to have cells somewhere. We might also want to leave room for a kitchen in here in case we eventually need it. I don't know, maybe this is a terrible idea, maybe I'm just not uh, not doing things the right way, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a try here. See if I put cells here, we do our two by threes. This guy right here fits perfectly seven cells. And then we'll have uh, some room here to put some other stuff. If we have a wall here, we'd have to have another one here. And this actually, actually could work pretty well. Have the, uh, have the cells here because then this would just open up into the other uh, exterior corridor, and that would give us twenty-one maximum securities, which is probably, probably a decent size, considering the amount of people they're going to be able to eat in this canteen, in theory. I'm not entirely sold on this, although I think for right now this is probably fine. We just make this a nice wide, nice wide deal. I will put in jail doors just to uh, let guys in and out of all of this. And then I suppose we can just go ahead and get this set up as a uh, set of, actually, no, you know what? No, that's not going to work. We're, we're just going to have to do it. I was going to say we could put solitary at the end of the hall, but I don't think that's going to end up being a wise choice. 
Yeah, it's not, not going to work with this kind of thing anyway. So we've got cells there. This would all be cells here. It's going to hopefully split that up once the, uh, once the walls go in place. Uh, but that should work. And of course we're going to have beds, but, uh, I think we can, uh, I think we can get away with the comfy beds at the very least, give them something. We'll put comfy beds along the end here. And then just give them a toilet. No sink, no mirror, no anything else. Um, oh, actually, no, they're going to they're gonna need to have showers. I always forget about the showers. Always forget about the showers. So I guess we'll do drain in this corner here. I don't technically have to have this paused. But I always I always end up thinking I have to pause stuff to make it a... Uh, we can actually work right. Well, that's fine. Where is the toilet? That is going to be inexplicably not down there. I don't know why I can't ever find these things. It honestly seems kind of random sometimes. All right, that will go on that wall. Nice and easy. We just have to be careful that we don't accidentally flood the prison with a whole bunch of these guys all at one time. Need to make sure we're uh, at least somewhat structuring the intake for this. So we have 21 of these. You might be saying, all right, well, what are you going to do with all the rest of the space over here? Well, let's see. We still have to have a common room. Uh, we could do a uh, could do a classroom, could do dedicated spaces for other stuff, or we could just leave it open in case we need to add more guys in the future. Uh, expand the canteen, etc. Uh, but that will give them plenty of stuff to do. I haven't, uh, I haven't specifically assigned this to be max sec only because we haven't quite gotten there yet. But we'll uh, we'll get stuff figured out. I need to have uh, additional guards. Let's go up to twenty, and then I think I will uh, station a guard in here. At least one, so we can have uh, these doors get opened. So for now, though, we can go ahead and uh, expedite all of this, get stuff going. Now all we have to do is have CCTV cameras throughout the prison, and then we'll get the maximum security infrastructure thing uh, all taken care of. Now I saw another tunnel alert from a dog. So I won't do it in the middle of the night because that'll make him very angry, but I will go ahead and... Uh, set that search in the morning get that taken care of we got four guys coming in two minimum two medium uh, this is looking good uh, cell it's under logistics room quality yeah see now these are all 11 which you know is nice I don't know why this says zero no windows I guess we can uh I guess we can put some windows in. Maybe increase the uh, the grade there. Probably should have a guard stationed in here. That's probably fine. Oh, we have to do... Uh, we have to do the pipes. Yeah, we can do that. I guess what we'll do is just run this right up the center here. That's fine. It probably is not going to reach all the way to the end, and if it doesn't, then we'll just have to uh, we'll just have to figure things out. This can go here just fine. We'll just connect like that too. Probably overkill, but hey, it's fine. We'll make it work. Yeah, they're just doing continuous work here. I, I love the variety of the dogs. <laughs> it's so hilarious. We also need to have lights, which I guess I will go ahead and put in this exact spot here. In every single cell, and then we'll have to do in the, uh, the hallways as well. All right, so that will work out just fine there. This is a uh, a two wide hallway, so it's not gonna exactly look perfect with the lighting. So I figured we could just kind of stagger them like this. 
that works out just fine. And then of course this one is going to be perfect just because it's a three wide. Well, I think it's going to be perfect. Okay, not not quite. Not quite. But it'll be fine. Yeah, they just got to get all this. Oh, remember when I said I was going to do a tunnel search? And then I didn't. Yep, tunnel search time. <laughs> just in time to go to bed. Everybody's got to get searched. And all their stuff, because you can't have tunnels. Cannot have tunnels. Hey, look at all that stuff we found. That was actually productive. Nice. And then we just have to go in with the remove tunnels thing. And uh, maybe they'll find something. Maybe not. Who knows? Alright, so this is starting to look. Starting to look a little better. I guess technically I could just have the canteen locked open. Except in case of lockdown, which would just immediately shut all the all the cell doors. I think that might be a, might be a smart idea anyway to just have stuff uh, locked open. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I need to make sure this is specified to be uh, max sec only once these are actually complete. So now, yeah, I got fifteen. Oh. Uh, 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 we're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to have these guys come in and take these cells because we need to make sure that's nice. Uh, closed. <laughs> we'll just, just, we'll just, we'll just not, not worry about it. Got to make sure this is ready to go first. Yeah, he, yeah. Here come all these guys getting their food. Hopefully not getting too upset at each other here. I probably should have made a, uh, a canteen just for the criminally insane guys, but we kind of pigeonholed ourselves here. Maybe, maybe we end up turning this into more criminally insane stuff. Not entirely sure. We certainly have uh, have options. Just want to make sure we get this stuff all taken care of. And now I do have a guy stationed here, right? Yes. So he can open doors, but we can also automate these doors because we do have these guys in the security office. So if we have, let's see, uh, is that under utilities? Wiring, yes, door servo. And someone had a really good suggestion to uh, automate the uh, the doors, and put these things in the wall, so they're a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I think we'll do that. That looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Then all we have to do is uh, quick connect once those are in place, but they haven't been installed. So I'm not going to automate the cell doors, but um, I will automate the ones to the canteen and uh, these hallways and the outside and stuff. So these guys are going to be sitting here working anyway, might as well. All right, so that's going to be a quick connect, quick connect, quick connect, quick connect, quick connect. How many times can you say quick connect? This guy can take care of a whole bunch of that. And then CCTV, we're going to have to have cameras. We have room to take in prisoners. Yes, I know. We are working. We are working on it. Just got to work with me here. All right, so what else? CCTVs. I'm just going to put... Can't put that there. I'll have to put two of these in here. That should be fine. That'll work out there. Just fine. And I gotta make sure these are wired up. Once they are installed, that is. Yep, and there they go. To install them. Alright, so there's three cameras installed. I think they wanted, yeah, they want you to have like six of them or something. So is this ready to actually be designated max sec only yet? I think it is. So now we have yeah, 21 free maximum security cells. These guys are no longer going to be shared cells. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and just designate this medium sec. They get their own 
everything really in here. This is all minimum, that's all medium, this is all maximum. We have this space we can't access yet because we haven't done anything with it, but I think that's going to be fine. All right, now we have 10 free medium security cells. These guys should all be pretty much maximally occupied, I think. Let's see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. But I have 23 minimum security guys, so they just take them back to the holding cell or what? Yeah, I think they might have. Huh. Well, now now I want to now I want to be sure. Cuz maybe I haven't uh, thought this through incredibly well. Cuz if this is only medium then yeah, that would make sense. Oh, hold on. We've got a love letter to Howell from his wife and the love letter Oh, multiple love letter. Uh-oh. Okay. Conjugal visit trailer. Etc. Arrested Development is a fantastic show. <laughs> anyway, no touching, etc. So this is all. Oh, hey, hold on. We don't have. Uh, we don't have water going here. Oh, the the one the one pigment they didn't install. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's looking okay. I guess we could put in a couple more. Uh, we could put a we could put CCTV stuff elsewhere. We do have this. I'll take this off at turbo speed for a second. CCTV monitors. I'll just put some there. Uh, where's my cameras? Because we probably should have cameras in other spots. Uh, oh, that's under utilities? Mm, yes. Alright, so now I have to... Oh. Well, I can't look at that. I need to have it under the... So I thought there it is. So now I can actually see. All right. So my problem here is I've kind of uh, kind of boxed myself in. I guess I can put uh, I can put one here and one here. They can be mounted to the ceiling. That's probably fine. Just one above every single doorway into the canteen. That's probably smart. So that'll work there. Criminally insane ones going to chapel. Why has this guy got green zombie skin? What's up, what's up, Mackenzie? What what's what's good? So um, why why is he why is he green? Needs treating. Okay, because he's sick. All right. Well, there is a uh, there's an infirmary up here, my dude. Let's go. Uh, let's uh connect. Oh, they haven't installed these yet. All right. So I guess I have to wait for all of that. Yeah, yeah, put all these things in so I can actually connect them up. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. I do appreciate that the wiring system of this game is not completely obtuse and requires a whole bunch of nonsense to do. You can just kind of pop it in and it's fine. It just works. Todd Howard style. But, um, yeah, so that's looking good with the maximum... I just want to know what's what's going on with these. Uh, okay, so they are they are sleeping in here. These are the the minimum security guys. Yeah, Weiner, Alm, Almond. Why is this Why is this not capitalized, Damon? Why is his last name not capitalized? Well, I think at the rate things are going, I don't think we need to worry about it because the minimum security guys get paroled or early released reasonably often. So I think. These three guys are probably fine. Oh, wow. Um, hold on. The guard has subdued the prisoner. Paul Page. Is the guard injured? Okay, there's an escape attempt is what this is. So let's remove the tunnel. Yeah, they've been, they've been tunneling for sure. Any other uh, tunnel removal I can come across, or am I going to have to search for it? These guys have been scheming. Yeah, fill those tunnels in. Get this stuff figured out. Alright. So when are these... I, You know, I'm going to say all this stuff about, oh, the minimum security guys are going to get paroled or released early, and it's going to be fine. And then... 
these guys are still going to be here in like three episodes, so you know how that goes. But uh, let's see, is there anything else that we want to do for um, for up here before we officially make this max sec? Max sec. Because so we have currently closed there. I'm going to adjust that. Uh, Grant Wise, uh, the next one is cell block C, and I think... There's, yeah, there's three more hidden ones. I know one of them after cell block C is cell block D. That's 500. I don't anticipate we're going to be doing that in this series. But I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we can, after we research some of this other stuff, uh, get into death row, etc. Uh, what else do we want to... Uh, what else do we want to research here? CCTV improvement, taser rollout, we want to do that. Uh, guard towers, we could do bank loans. Tax. I mean, money-wise, we're perfectly fine. Might as well go ahead, since our lawyer has nothing to do, just go ahead and get this legal stuff taken care of. I don't know what could possibly happen that would necessitate us having that ready to go, but hey, you never know. So we can either put in additional cells here, and increase our maximum security population, uh, which would probably require us to have a larger canteen. Or we can do a, a common room over here. A common room probably is honestly the smarter thing to do. So I think, yeah, give him a nice big common room, but it doesn't have to really be anything super amazing, fantastic, special. Just give him a... Uh, a little doorway there. I guess probably they should instead of a instead of a real door, they should be a jail door, so we can lock it if we have to, because these are all these are all there. Oh, I didn't uh, <laughs> I didn't connect these uh, <laughs> door servos. That one's done. That one's done. That one and that one are now done. So now now these are all. All connected, they can be automatically open. That's fine. So yeah, that's going to be a common room. I already said to put a wall there. Uh, we're going to have to put in some lights, which I guess, I guess this will be fine. So I'll skip every other. Oh, that's actually going to end up being uh, pretty good. So we'll just, we'll just call that adequate lighting distribution. I know it's not entirely perfect, but. That's uh, something at least. Common room. Now, what do we do in this common room? This actually might be bigger. Okay. Pool table. We got TVs. We got phones. I should be doing a phone tap. I think I was going to install one of those. Um. So let's see. Pool table. We could actually. Uh, could actually kind of. Uh, Give these guys some uh, some room to have a good time here. Uh, where's the big TV? There we go. Big TV, wide sofa, etc. Uh, phone booth. We definitely want them to be phoning home. I guess I could put uh, four of those in there, and then we'll do a phone tap. That's definitely something we should be doing. Yeah, phone tap there. I love the little, the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder kind of thing and the, the plug-in headphones. Absolutely would not be how that works today, but I think that's that's a very charming design that's nice. Yeah, and then we can we can fill this up with some more, uh, some more maximum security prisoners. Lots of spare room to take in more prisoners. Oh, we need, uh, we need solitary. Yeah, we need solitary for these guys. That's gonna be the uh That's gonna be the fun one, because I think what we can do. Yeah, we can uh We can just have like the uh, the misery area here. And these can all be solitary for max sec. Might as well. Give me that secure door. Something tells me the solitary uh, in the secure section is going to be a lot more used. Where's my S for solitary? All 
All right, so we'll call that a success. We got economy room here. Uh, let's connect our phones to the phone tap. There we go. Lights in solitary? Nah. We'll put them right outside the doors. So I'll just do uh, that like so. Yeah, because we needed to have lights in there. So that's looking fine. Uh, this is going to need to have... I'm just assuming this is the correct spacing. I don't think we really need to get uh, too involved with it. Okay, I can live with that. That's fine. Just want to make sure we don't leave too much unlit here. All right, so that's how many? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that actually was the correct one to do. All right, that's fine. Then we'll just fill this in generally right here. Eh, I got to pause again. I know, I know, I know it's irritating, but this does help me think a little bit more about how this is uh, supposed to be going here. All right, we'll we'll leave that like that, and then uh, we need to go ahead and open up for some more uh, maximum security dudes. So if we fill capacity, fill the seventy-seven, they're all maximum security dudes. And we only have two minimum set guys here. That is going to work just fine. Okay, the uh, cameras are cameraing. I don't know why this is separate. Uh, oh, there's no guard at the monitor. Okay. So I guess I might have to uh, might have to assign a minimum of three guards to the security room at all times. Okay. Assign a guard to the common room. In max sec, at least. I think for right now, this is probably fine. Yeah, I just need to have more guards, I think is what the uh, the moral of the story is here. So let's go up to 30. Why not? Why not? So we should have guys coming in here sometime soon. Yeah, it should be at about eight o'clock. I think you can adjust when that time uh, when that time is. All right, so what else? Uh, we can have a different regime for max set guys, but uh, I don't think we need to at this exact moment in time. If we uh, decide we need to get into that, then we can. But policy wise, uh, max set guys go to solitary for a whole lot of stuff. Minimum set guys basically don't ever go to solitary, so maybe I didn't need to build solitary cells in the minimum security, but hey. Okay, I think uh, these these right here need to be um, these need doors need to be servoed at the bottom here because these other ones are. Yeah, so let's get that put in. Then we can uh, set those up to this guy door control system. In theory, we probably should start splitting this up because he can only open one door at a time. But waiting for a little bit isn't uh, isn't necessarily the end of the world. Yes, that now has 14 connections. That's probably all right. All right, so now we got uh, tomorrow four more maximum security guys. So why why did we not get all of our maximum security guys today? That doesn't seem right. I don't know exactly why that would have uh, would have not happened, but I mean, hey, we got our max sec thing. I mean, kind of going. I, I don't know if I'm totally in love with this or not, but uh, it's something, I suppose. Take a look at our cell quality. Yeah, two. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, very low. Those are eleven. These are only two as well, because I guess we have the uh, we have the fancy. 
But all of these can have a window. If we uh, if we felt like having a window, so why don't we? Uh, why don't we give these guys windows? Why not? Want to slightly increase their quality of life here, but not too much. Window, 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 window. How many times can I say window? Hopefully that helps uh, raise their grade a little bit. Oh, up to all the way up to six with a window. Eh. Okay, well it says that guy's entitled to six, so I guess that's fine. Oh, we were also going to put windows in the. Uh, we're going to put windows in the canteen too, because that increases chandeliers. Higher degree of class to any area. Do we put chandeliers in the canteen? Is that is that even worth doing? All right, where's my uh, where's my window option? Because I think there's one of these that said, yeah, it's minus one for no windows, and it's minus one because it has CCTV. Yeah, so I think I think we want to put windows in. Windows starts with W W I N or win windows. You win when you have windows. So we'll just uh, put some right here. That's probably fine. Put a window at the end of each table. Why not? Give them something to look out to the bleakness of the rest of the prison. They still haven't made 10 superior beds, but I also don't know how many beds they have made already. I don't think, I don't think it's many or any at all, but they have, they have actually sawn wood for the, uh, for the beds to be made. Yeah, three finished, nobody passed, but there are three in Carpentry Apprenticeship. Wolfram, we've got, uh, France, the entire country in prison. Uh, Bramham, if that's how you pronounce his name. His cell quality is... Uh, I can't, there we go. Six. All right. Extremely strong. Well, okay, if he's going to be building beds, I guess he probably should be kind of strong. Okay, we got six prisoners coming in in the morning. Probably do need to go ahead and put a bow on this episode pretty quick. But uh, it seems to, it seems to work. Do we have any general education uh, things scheduled? We do not, because I've got foundation education program. Um... Yeah, let's start that. Oh, good. It's actually gonna let me uh, let me do that. Really? I guess we have the two uh, the two deals. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. So those only at three to six p.m. Probably don't need to have multiple sessions. Oh, okay. This is for the minimum guys only, and this is for everybody else. I forgot I had all that. Well, I guess that's fine then. All right, so now that's going to be uh, working there. I don't have any more grants yet because we haven't researched death row or anything. Uh, we realistically can get to uh, 100 capacity. We would just have to either have a whole lot more maximum security ones or we'd have to have a uh, whole bunch of uh, more of this. I could build another uh, minimum security one. That might be kind of nice, but we'd have to have another uh, canteen. Maybe I should just have another medium security right here. Just uh, out of curiosity, can I? I don't think you can clone a very big. Oh boy, you know what? You know what we can do? Is we can immediately, we can immediately. We might do this next time if you guys think it's a smart idea. Uh, we can immediately just double our medium security capacity. And uh, get that done that way. But I think the canteen might size might become an issue. We might have to move our infirmary and our morgue somewhere else. But uh, I don't know. I guess I could just say, hey, uh, let me know down below in the comments if you want to see another medium wing or another minimum wing or another max wing or whatever. Because uh, there's not too much else we can really do with this one. Uh, short of buying more land and, I don't know, doing some other crazy thing. But what would you like to see? Because at the end of the day, you guys are the ones that watch the videos. And if uh, you want to see it, we'll make it happen within a reason.
So would be very interested in your opinions on that. But I think this is a good place to stop for today. We did get the maximum thing up and operating. Uh, still don't really know what to do here. If we want to put in a classroom just for the max guys. Uh, if we want to have uh, demo this area, make it a yard just for the max guys. Give them all the amenities so they never have to leave their little max thing. This isn't super max, mind you. Super max is uh, going to necessitate having a completely separated everything behind multiple fences, whatever. Maybe that's something we could get into a little bit later if we bought some land. But uh, I think personally I'm leaning toward uh, duplicating this medium block, putting it down here. And then maybe seeing what else we could do. But I'm always open to your suggestions. Thankful that you take the time to watch these videos and engage in very good, uh, insightful comments as well. It's always nice. So very appreciative of you. Like I said, Beard Boosters also always, always, always appreciated it's their contributions that make it possible to try things like this game that are not beavers, since that seems to be what the YouTube algorithm uh, has uh, permanently slotted me into as the Timberborn stuff. But hey, it's a fun game, so that's okay. But uh, like I said, their support makes it possible to try these other things, and this has gone very well. We've had a lot of fun with this one. So uh, thanks to the folks that made it happen. But I digress quite enough of my yapping at the end of this one. So again, if you have any ideas, I always welcome them. I always read the comments, can't always respond. But I do make notes every single time of what you guys want to see, uh, things you want to see fixed, changed, etc., whatever. So I will look forward to engaging with you there. And then I guess we'll see each other again next week for more Prison Architect. We got uh, Timberborn tomorrow with the Iron Teeth and then back with the Penguins on Friday. Plus soon, soon, Water Beavers will make their return. But that's it. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, I hope you have a fun and a safe time. And until we see each other again, stay safe, have fun once again. Always important. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.